we are going to see the software layout of Autodesk Helios Composite. Once you open the Autodesk Helios Composite software, you will get a welcome screen like this. So in this welcome screen, here it is showing the name of the software and it is the version of the software which you are using right now. So this particular welcome screen gives us access to three different options namely micro mechanics, new lamina and new laminate options. So the micro mechanics tool lets us create the lamina by calculating the lamina properties from the existing fiber and material properties using the same approach of micro mechanics. Then the new lamina tool which is present here lets us create a lamina by entering its orthotropic properties. Then coming to the new laminate tool it lets us create a composite laminate from the existing laminas. So we are going to see everything in detail in the further videos so we don't bother about it right now. So for right now I am going to close this welcome screen. Then the software is generally divided into three main graphic elements. The first elements are the drop down menus, second one are the toolbars and the third one is the material data file tree. So these are the drop down menus which gives you to access to different options that are present inside the software or which gives you access to different windows or modules which will be used to create new laminas, uh, analyze a laminate, calculate the properties of a laminate and do much more things. So whatever the modules that are present inside the software we can access them through these 10 drop down menus. So then coming to this line, this all known as the toolbar items wherein uh, this toolbar item is helpful for adding a new material library to the existing material library and if you want to know the licensing information of your software you can click on this licensing information toolbox icon and then uh, you can also if you want to access online help you can click on this question mark so once you come down and you, if you observe on the left side of your screen you can see material data manager wherein you can add new materials you can edit new materials you can access you can get access to the library of materials that are already present inside the autodesk helios composite software so what happens is when you install this autodesk helios composite software there are predefined laminas metals cores matrices and fibers that come along with this particular software so they all get installed along with the software so you can through this file manager tree you can access all of those materials and in addition to accessing all of those materials you can even add new, new materials you can delete the materials you can sort the materials through this file manager tree so if you come to this file manager tree you can see there are different branches like fibers, matrices, laminas and metals. So for example if you want to have a, you, if you want to have a look about the fibers that are already present in the software. So what you can do is you can go to the fibers branch and then click on expand so that you can see what are all the fibers that are present in the library. And remember these are not all uh, of the fibers doesn't come with the software some of the fibers have been added by myself so uh, remember only a few uh, fibers or few properties of matrices or few laminas will be coming along with the pre-installed software so once we have finished seeing this uh, uh, file manager tree then at the final option is go to the files because you are now starting with the software we need to go to the preferences and we need to do some settings so that whatever you see on my screen will be visible will be visible in the same units on your screen also so go to preferences and in the preferences you set the units to MPA I think by default English will be given but you change them to SI MPA and that is the only setting you need to change once you change the setting you can press ok and now you can continue for the further lectures in the next video we are going to see how to create a new matrix material a fiber material and a metal material and add these particular materials to the already existing database in the autodesk composite software thank you